I'm at my mom's and I noticed that her under sink for her bathroom it was getting rusty and old and this is a it's about a 30 year old condo so I figure it's time to replace this before there's a problem so I'm going to go through the steps of changing the p-trap on a bathroom sink so for this project we're just going to be loosening these two nuts that hold the j-bend and then also the nut that's holding the wall tube and you're just going to need either an adjustable pliers or a pipe wrench for this and then you want to grab some type of pot to put under this because this will be filled with water and that's what the safety is. The water setting in here keeps sewer gas from getting into your house. Alright, so I'm just going to turn these nuts counterclockwise. how that just broke off. So this was so old and I'm happy to be doing this because you can see that it just it just dissolved the threads right there. Alright and I'm just going to loosen the nut holding the wall tube into this stub out. Alright and that's all there is to it. So you've got two nuts on the J-Bend and then you've got one nut holding it into the stub out. So here's the old trap and you can see how rusted it is. This is really falling apart over time and we're going to replace it with plastic and this will last for decades. So to replace this J-Bend and the wall tube we just need to line this up and you can see that this is going to fit very well. Now if you're doing a project one thing you might want to grab also is an extension pipe and this is a six inch extension and we can use this vertically or horizontally so if this needed to be lower we could extend it with this or if this wall tube needed to be longer we could extend it this way and it's watertight whether it's vertical or horizontal. One question I get asked is the difference between a J-Bend and a P-Trap. If you're just replacing this one piece this would be your J-Bend. If you're replacing the J-Bend and the wall tube, these two pieces together would be considered a P-Trap. And in this case, this is we're going to be replacing both pieces, so we're going to be replacing the P-Trap here in this bathroom sink. So in a bathroom, all the under sink is going to be inch and a quarter. The only exception is going to be the stub out. It can either be inch and a half or inch and a quarter. In this case, we have inch and a half, and I have to use a special nut that's going to reduce this down to inch and a quarter. And in this case, since this is metal, I bought a metal reducing nut so that we have metal thread to metal thread. And in the case of all the other parts, it's going to be plastic thread going on to plastic thread. And in this case, if we were to screw a plastic washer onto this, that sharp metal can cut into it. So it's always good to go metal to metal, plastic to plastic. I'm going to put the wall tube in first. So I put my metal nut in and then I'm going to put my reducing washer and I want the beveled edge facing the fitting. So we'll slide this on and I'm going to push it in first and I'm just going to hand tighten it. And now what's unique about plastic is this has a built-in beveled washer and so we do not have to put any washers on the wall tube going into this J-Bend here. So we pull down the nut and we're going to now put the nut on the tailpiece and a washer and we always have the beveled edge facing down facing into the fitting and we'll slide this up and I'm gently going to just lightly tighten that and then we want these to all be lined up before we put our nuts down and tighten them. So I'll push this up a little bit. We square up everything loosely by hand and then we can tighten everything down. And what's great about plastic is we don't have to use a lot of force. We can get this hand tight and then we can just put a quarter turn on with a wrench. So we've lined it all up and then I'll just come back and, and tighten it with a wrench. But it's that easy to replace the under sink in a bathroom. And I would always suggest using plastic when you replace this. It'll last much longer than metal and it's a lot less expensive. 